The Ryan Hessen Riesling. So oh my god, is this the best value German Riesling we have ever tried on the show? Uh, oh my god, is that winking. the title of this, the video? Oh my god, this is <laughs> thumbnails! Oh my god! <laughs> Welcome back guys to another week of blind wine tasting. If you guys don't know yet what we do here, we're trying to build the world's greatest wine community and champion the product that we love, of course, wine, through blind tasting. Six random wines that we have no idea what they are, tell you whether we like them, dislike them, and then have a cool grand reveal at the end. All the wines are being organized by Sometimes Always, so a big shout out to them, thank you very much. And of course, if you're looking at any way to be able to help us out here, press like, subscribe, bell icon for notifications. If you know YouTube, you know the tip Typical rig roll that we're talking about, it legitimately does help us out a hell of a ton. So let's just get straight into it. Rapido! Number one, white wine with not much to really say about its appearance. It, it, white winey on the nose, like classic white wine. Um, for that reason, I'm thinking Riesling. Takes me straight back to watching Midsummer Murders on a Sunday night on the ABC at about 8.30. Mum's already made dinner. Um, I'm pouring the second round of glasses and this is exactly what I'm pouring. Really good use of the oboe as well in Midsummer Murders. Uh, intro music, if you know, you know, sort of thing. The CO2 is definitely present on the nose and the CO2 is actually, that, that uh, carbonation bubble is definitely present on the mouth. Awesome. Uh, it has a gorgeous ripeness to it. A little bit like last week's German Riesling. Almost like limestoney minerality, cool zestiness, and it's got amazing acidity. As far as like characterful wines go, it doesn't got heaps, but it's a really well-made wine and it's, it's a thinking man's drink. I honestly do believe it's it's probably Riesling. Um, I don't think it's French or Italian. I do believe it is old world in nature. Pay $50 a bottle for it and I'd grab six. 45 bucks a bottle, real, real mid-range for us on the show here. And for me, that's three bottles. Cool, good way to start though. Nice little zippy palate cleanser, like a lemon lime gelato. Number two, a little unfiltered red number. Thick actually, look at that. Instantly I'm thinking that this is gonna be something on the heavier end of town, Shirazi or maybe a Grenache blend with a bit of Merlot. Wow, that smells money. That smells like money. Incredible structure, dense very primary fruited, probably quite young. And I would hazard a guess that in a cellar over three years, this is going to mature really nicely. This is gonna look baller in about three years time. Right now, I think it's looking just a little, little bit juvenile. Got some really awesome like old world rustic vibes to it. Could be that kind of coat de Rony energy to it. Oh, it's got a really interesting palette. It's got some fresh acid to it. Yeah, the sourness, it could almost, like, the sourness leads me to think Pinot or something like that, but then just, like, the colour and the... I reckon it's, like, high, I reckon it's 13 or 14% alcohol. Like, it's got a little bit more of the heat to it. Maybe, like, a Neb or something. No, it doesn't have the tannin of a Nebbiolo, which is something that I wouldn't have said 16 months ago. It reminds me of Adelaide Hills Syrah, uh, to be honest. It reminds me some of the best out of Murdoch Hill, and this definitely feels like it's, you know, natty. Minimal intervention, hands-off approach, Lower in sulfur, lower in handling, so I, I, I don't believe it's been filtered or anything like that. And it's very quick in and out the door of the winery. For that reason, I reckon it's probably around about $48 a bottle, and I would buy 12. All right, moving on to wine number three, we've got another red wine, and it's uh, a little bit less dense in color, uh, and a little bit more clear than the previous. Butter scotch. Maybe there's some American oak here, but yeah, there's some really like Werther's like Werther's original lollies to this thing. The chewy one, not like the, the hard one, the chewy one. Yeah, it smells like, <laughs> it smells like women's leather clothing, uh, but like well cared for leather sort of scent to it. Like uh, Cab Max, so carbonic maceration, it's been fermented in stainless steel. It's maybe seen the tiniest amount of oak, but not a hell of a lot. And that kind of gives it this, this uh, aroma, which I find incredibly appealing. Fuck yeah, this is so good. Grenache, whole bunchy, like middle, Middle-ish weight, sort of a little bit, a little bit sour, a little bit bitey. Uh, I reckon I, I might be French. It might be good French oak here, but yeah, that's a definitely butterscotchy character here. Uh, uh, underneath the kind of nice bright cherry, the big dense cherry, and some like nice like basilic kind of like herbaceousness. Back on our white bullshit. Um, oh, 
Looks like we've got three whites to finish. What a lovely way to finish up. Ooh okay, we're talking about a little bit of Chardonnay here. Or something with a decent amount of oak. Oh, there's a little bit of like caramel. Not like the butterscotchy thing, but like the caramel thing. But, but it smells like great Chardonnay, so let's see what it tastes like. Really light on its feet. Not, it smells really intense, but it's like quite bright and clean and mineral. It's got, it's it's clearly old oak, not new oak. I think this is pretty epic shabby, to be honest. Oh yeah, a little bit of reduction too, just that perfect hint of reduction. And it's really interesting, we've got reduction from a, what I believe to be a Chardonnay with a decent amount of ripeness. It's not necessarily shabby. I think this will be a bit of a sleeper. I think a lot of people would call this shabby. I don't think it is. It's the sort of Chardonnay that I wouldn't mind drinking. Like chicken crimpy shapes or something like that. It's got a little bit of salty sweetness to it. 50 bucks and six bottles. Cool example of what I think Chardonnay is. Gold! Yeah, it's got a little gold number here. Really good fun. A little bit farty, a little bit of, uh, not quite like baby diaper, like the one that we had the other week, but yeah, a little bit of that reductive thing is I think what the boys talk about when they start smelling stuff like this. Look, this is a really, wow, okay. This is a really cool one. A lot of batonage, hell of a lot of texture, really luscious. I think there could be a little bit of residual here. Either that or equally, there is very low acid. Oh wow, cool. Yeah, great, really savory. Oh, it's like almond kernel-y, apricot-y, apricot blossom kind of thing. Oh man, it's great little um, orange wine, which I'll, I'll take three bottles of quite comfortably at about $45. A little bit of that funkiness that I was talking about, the like, it reminds you of being outdoors. It doesn't make me think of like a stainless steel clean cut winery. It makes me think of like animals roaming around the vineyards and someone's picking it and stomping it with their feet and turning it into delicious grape juice, which they've done a really nice job of there. I'd, I'd like to drink it on a cold night to keep me warm sort of vibe. I think the alcohol in this is actually quite elevated. Overall, nothing thrilling, but very interesting. Uh, great little one, really good fun. And finally, last but not least, the cleanest of the whites that, uh, no, actually looks more similar to wine number one that we had. Cool little golden hue to it. Some nice fingerprints on the outside of the glass, which is always a good note for white wine tasting. Well, I think that's really good Chardonnay. There's a bit of an oak component here, but it's like, 10% of the wine. You know it's there, definitely not offensive. It's one of those wines that for 85% of the drinking experience, you're like, this is kind of shit. Whoa! If you ever wondered how to actually determine Chardonnay from Shannon, if you put it in your mouth and you can't hold it in your mouth for longer than 10 seconds before the acidity along the back palate starts to actually hurt you, um, then it's probably Shannon. But yum, yum, yum. I really hope Brendan's got like a good like idea of what this might be. But for me, I'm just like, oh, I love it. It's so cool. I'm really a fan. I'm really a fan of this. All these other wines you will remember drinking, this one you won't remember drinking because you've drunk it so quickly. You're like, wow, where'd that go? Uh, and for that reason, I'm gonna drop 40 bucks a bottle and I'm gonna grab 12. Let's see what the other guys think. This actually was a, like, it wasn't a struggle to drink. They're all really tasty, but it was a struggle to like actually think about them. They were really quite, all of them were really, really interesting. There's one that I'm really keen to get to talk to you about because I've got no idea what's going on. Yeah, Starting uh, with wine number one, uh, where were we at? Uh, I was at like this like nice, bright, refreshing Riesling that had a little bit more interest that I kind of couldn't Divulge. It was really interesting. I had 50. I had 40. Like, big spender. So literally, we were $10 yeah, 40 different. to 50 bucks. And six bottles. Six. Three. Okay. We're all kind of in the middle here. So, Lachlan, what is it? Whoa! Okay, I upped my order to 12. That's at 22. Nice. That is same. Kind of really same. impressive. Riesling. Wow, it is Riesling. Fritz. Fritz. You know, in South Australia, Fritz, I mean, there's two wonderful food words on this this bottle. If Hasselback. <laughs> if it's Hasselback I, Fritz hey, look, is if, a new type of food. Yeah, if yeah, I, you slip in the backs on your Fritz and then roast it in the oven. If oh. I, if Actually, I, don't record that. That's yeah. a million dollar idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why it's Rheinhessen. It's Rheinhessen Riesling. So oh my God, is this the best value German Riesling we have ever tried on the show? Uh, oh my okay. God, is it's that winking. the title of this, the video? Oh my God, is it? <laughs> Thumbnails, oh my God, clickbait, <laughs> gone wrong. It's not reaching the heights, like when you have great German Riesling. It's not, it's not quite the level of the, last, the, the one at um, the last episode, um, but this one is up there. No, but there's not many times that you can be sitting down and thinking, how do you want to spend your $22? Are you going to get a German Riesling or a family dinner box from Maccas? Like this is a very unique German oh, Riesling. <laughs> 
next wine, that inky black little thing. Um, yeah, cool. I thought it was like an interesting little Bordeaux blend. It was like very non-descriptive variety, but uh, it was really well made. It was really delicious. Definitely one with a bit of a debate. Lucky, what is it? 36. That's I said 35. Too. 48. I said 57. Oh, right. Lil. Motherfucking Taroldigo. What? This is Popple vibe. Uh, this is McLaren Vale Taroldigo. Awesome. I haven't tried this. Awesome. Uh, and I'm really thankful to everyone at Sometimes Always that made this. So uh, Ufe from Poplevi, legendary dude and amazing winemaker, has got some McLaren Bell to roll to go. Awesome, because now that you say that, Elizabeth Foradori comes to mind. Shit, it tastes what? like the chocolate you get at Easter from your rich in-laws. <laughs> it's not, it's not the hay, it's a level above hags. Yeah, people, people are just like <laughs> old gold with raspberries in it. You're like, no, 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 no. All right, moving on to the next little red. A big fan. I was on big 12 with too. it as well. Same, same. Oh, uh, that is, that is an Italian something or other. Yeah, it's peak, peak camping wine. 60 bucks I was on. 35. 40. Dude, this is all cheap. This is Damn. all, the first three wines are some of the best value and interesting wines I've tried on the show today. There's another title for you. Barbera! Barbera from Barbera. Yeah, there you go. So, wow. uh, uh, incredible Barbera is actually a, a producer from up near Barbaresco. Uh, they do an absolutely incredible job and actually do some of the better value, like easier, more accessible. If you uh, haven't nice had like uh, Piemonte style wines, if you haven't uh, haven't had Barbera or Dolcetto or Moscato Dasty, grab a Barra, you won't be disappointed. Mm, yeah. And they're really, really well priced. I've never actually been an outrageous fan of any of the Barras. That is is of the range that I have tried, which isn't everything. I haven't tried some of their top tier stuff. That's cool. That's yeah. amazing. And for 30 uh, bucks? Yeah, that's a win. Damn, great. Uh, moving on, uh, the next wine. Uh, massive fan. Gotta be Shard. Gotta be expensive. Shard, Shard, Shard. Yeah. It's probably fucking Chablis. <laughs> yeah. uh, because the use of oak in this is perfect. I was on 80 bucks. I was on 65. Yeah, I wanted six. Uh, what, what the, the fuck? goddamn Jesus Christ? What? I don't even care that I probably got sweat. What? Right now. What is this? What is that? It's Shannon Shit Long. Long. No, what? What? <laughs> it's pure Chardonnay. No, it's Chardonnay. It's oh, Chardonnay. it's Beaujolais Chardonnay. Why does it say? What? Oh, it's Cuvée Blanc. Oh, it's Cuvée Blanc. Blanc. Vindication. We can oh, relax. Vindication. We can relax. It is not oh. Chenin Blanc. It's, it's, okay. like, it's not Chablis, but it's damn fucking close. It's yeah, bucks. it's, it's uh, damn fucking it's close. It's Chardonnay from Beaujolais. Um, so it's like to pass on Beaujolais and Southern Burgundy. So it's a bit of a. That's why it's so cheap. But yeah, goddamn, that's down. amazing. Fifth wine wasn't all about it. I chose one bottle, 40 bucks. I found it really nondescript. 45 and three. 40, 40 for six. I was kind of about this one, to be honest. Bang. Dude, what about this? We're pretty much on it. Dude, what's going on? Please be Savvy Blanc Fumé style. Look, it's looking promising. Yeah, I have no idea strange. what it is. It's if French. it's French and it's got an obscure uh, label, it's probably from the Loire Valley. Uh, Vin de France, 100% Chenin Blanc. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, 40 bucks, that's actually really, really cool. Manually harvested, natural from an Asian tank. It's 100% stainless, which is probably why it doesn't have that kind of character. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, honestly, pretty cool wine. It's got some character to it. You know, when you're drinking out and you've got like a couple of these, couple of these, and you're like, yeah, let's chuck that in. You're like, oh yeah, cool. This kind of like just breaks up the evening. Yeah, yeah. It's good old pit stop. Nothing to talk about. Yeah. Have some conversation about what's going on in your life. Yeah, last wine. Last, last wine. wine. Uh, what the fuck is Bro, this? Bro, what is this? <laughs> what is this? I, I mean, do you know what this is? I, I wanted, I wanted twelve of them. Uh, I wanted twelve of them as well. I thought this was Chablis. I was half there as well, but I was like that. I was so convinced that was Chablis that I thought this wasn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Wait, what, what do we got? How, how much is this? Oh, maybe not Chablis. If it's Chablis, twenty-eight is this would be the best value lineup we've just done. Yeah, for nothing. Months and months. Forty and months. bucks was the most expensive bottle. No. Roger no. Estate. Whoa. Roger Chardonnay. Mark. Chardonnay. Nice. Nice, Damn. nice, nice. Actually, yep. there is a little bit of that, like the back palette, there's a little bit of wood. Like. Yeah, no, nah, it's oaky, and that's kind of what we were thinking with the Chablis yeah. thing. It's like, it's not dominant easily coming off the back of what we did last week, where it was like baller up, baller, 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 baller. Yeah. yeah. This 
is the uh, the six pack for people that aren't on six figures. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is this is this is the the six pack for people that aren't on six figures. There's not this, a single yeah. one here that this, you shouldn't get. This is, this is the week to week paycheck tax return. Fucking six pack. No, okay. You know those memes that the Greens are putting out at the moment? It's just like, have you ever worried about your card being accepted at an ATM? These our laws won't affect you. <laughs> these this, are the ones. You, I'm you. drinking these wines. The new laws by the Greens won't affect you. <laughs> <laughs> They're delicious and you should drink them all. Oh, That's it. On, honestly, like, holy what? shit. Yeah. Dude, we had $22 uh, German Riesling. Riesling Chardonnay. We had $22 bloody uh, Riesling from Germany. We had McLaren Bell Taroldigo. And we had Chardonnay that tasted like Chablis that it'll cost you 28 bucks. Nuts. And I'm sure if you buy, like, like I'm sure sometimes always does some kind of like six packs at a little cheeky discount well, or something Well, they give 10% like. uh, off for our watches. Uh, well, well, uh, they, 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 they more likely, if you buy a bunch, you get free wine. So but, you buy a six pack, you probably get some free fucking wine. But the thing is, if you jump on Discord, then we can give you a, a discount code that you can get you. 10% off all of these. We've had a whole bunch of like really amazing value wines on the show, but we've never had this bucks. many. This $20 that's, German Riesling doesn't exist. Ridiculous. It does now. That's does awesome. Now. Uh, okay. I honestly, like hats off to everyone at Sometimes Always for procuring some of the most great value wine I have tried in such Love a long yeah, time. That, that, was that was mental. That is mental. That was best value lineup we have probably ever done on the show today. Yeah. So I think last week, maybe we did the best lineup we've ever had, but this is the best value. So we've gone, what are we going to do next? Terrible. Are we, are we going to do next? Are we going to retire? Shit. Well, we're done until next week, so we'll catch you then. <laughs> Cheers, you guys. guys.